Welcome back to the Sabo Academy. In this video, we'll show you the basic quality checks carried out by our staff on reception of materials and semi-finished components. These checks are regulated by procedures that indicate what needs to be checked, how it needs to be checked, and to what extent. The components shown here are crucial to the proper operation of our shock absorbers. For this reason, these components are supplied only by firms specialized in this type of manufacturing. Our suppliers are highly qualified as regards the controls needed to guarantee full compliance with technical drawings and project specifications. We shall now illustrate one of the basic checks carried out when we receive what is an important and often critical component for the proper operation of our shock absorbers the chrome plated stem. Checking involves comparison of actual values with those on the drawing. However, we check not only the dimensions, but also the thickness of the chrome layer, important to ensure a proper seal and so protect our component from corrosion. Once the check has been completed, our worker signs the piece off as a pass or fail. Here's another example of the basic measurements carried out on the incoming components. In addition to basic dimensional checks, we also perform several qualitative checks on critical components such as this piston. We examine it in detail to see if there is any burr or micro burr that might be detrimental to the smooth flow of oil when the shock absorber is working. It's also possible to check for any macro porosity or micro porosity, which can also compromise piston performance during passage of the oil. The versatility of this component allows us to carry out other types of checks on incoming components and also on components produced and machined at our own factories. In this case, the thread profile and the bottom of the groove are being checked. Another test carried out on incoming components, of which we have an example here, is the saline mist test. This ensures the stems are sufficiently resistant to corrosion and that such resistance complies with project specifications. To do these checks we employ highly specialised external laboratories. In addition to checks on incoming materials, we also run controls on the production process to ensure full compliance with quality standards. Here our technician is preparing the test piece to check the welding process. Once the sample has been cut open, it is polished to make the cross-section clearly visible under a microscope. To ensure correct assessment of the macrographic aspect, it is important to eliminate as many lines as possible from the polished surface. During sample polishing, it is important to gradually move from one type of sandpaper to another moving from coarser grain papers to finer and finer ones. After polishing and an acid bath to highlight the different structures of the metals, we can observe the following. The profile of the coating material zone and the base material. In this case, it is important to check penetration on the side which, as we can see, is plentiful and complies with project specifications. In this case, the component has passed the test and consequently the welding procedure can be executed correctly. The system allows users to keep a photographic record of checks and controls made on components. 
This allows for future comparison of any different situations that may occur in the welding department during the process. Once the component has reached the final assembly phase, it is tested on our hydraulic test machines. The component must comply with all performance specifications. Tests are therefore carried out to ensure such parameters are attained and complied with.